to Target now, the outlier, which saw its shoppers retreat. Melissa Repko, uh, is this a matter of Target mis misreading the customer, or is it a matter of, of Target being a leading indicator potentially of what's to come? What do you say? Hi, Tyler. Yes, a lot of Target's troubles actually come down to its merchandise mix. A lot of what Target sells is discretionary merchandise, and it's seeing a pullback, particularly it was talking about how in the final weeks of October and into early November, it's been seeing a slowdown. And so this may not be showing up yet in the numbers that Steve referred to, those retail sales numbers. It may just be the start of that pullback. And Target is known for selling a lot of items all across the board, in home, in apparel. Only 20% of what it sells is grocery versus Walmart, which reported yesterday and did well, uh, uh, it's a very big different percentage because with, with Walmart, about 56% of its overall annual revenue comes from grocery. So a lot of those target runs that people think of when they think of that retailer are browsing the store and get a lot of impulse buys. Those become a tougher sell in an environment where consumers are thinking more about sticking to the budget, buying what they need, not what they want. You know, I'm going to kick off the cross-examination here. Morgan and I are going to jump in in just a minute. But Steve, I'm going to start with you because I'm wondering where this burst of seeming confidence is coming from. Is this potentially a last hurrah for the American consumer, number one. Number two, is it, is it that buyers are going out there and thinking, well, I'm going to buy now before the prices go much higher. I'm going to get that, get it now because it may be 10% more in two months. Where's the confidence coming from? What's it, the explanation? It could be that, that idea of buy now because things are going to be more expensive. Uh, Tyler, can I just semantically correct your, uh, your question? Of course you can. Which is Confidence, it's, confidence itself, the, the confidence measures are bad. They're negative. They're down. Um, and that makes all this, all this spending even more extraordinary. We think there's this connection between consumers lacking confidence or being not confident in the economy, and yet they're spending as well. They're spending I like crazy, the things whether they're happen. confident or not. I mean, that's why I'm so suspect of polls, but, but be that as it may. Go ahead. I, 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 one of the things that I think is worth noting, and maybe we haven't made enough of this, I've tried to make a lot of this, a lot of folks are employed. 3.7% unemployment, up two tenths, but still historically low. We focused on these, these polls and these surveys that show uh, consumers and are, are, are angry and upset and disappointed with the inflation numbers. At the same time, they have jobs. And I don't know, Tyler, but to me, nothing drives spending like having a job and a paycheck. Mm. Um I mean, it's, it's a key point here, too, that part of what is fueling the spending is the fact that things are costing more and people are just having to pay more out of pocket, though, right? And you're seeing that in some of the uh, debt, the, the credit card debt numbers and those types of metrics that are starting to come out as well. So, Melissa, I, I want to go back to you and just ask if you, if you look under the hood across the different retailers that have reported so far this week, I mean, there are these signs that higher inflation is having an impact, albeit maybe differently at different stores. Exactly, Morgan. Walmart said yesterday that it's really getting its sales growth from the necessities, from grocery, not from discretionary. So in many ways, Walmart and Target were consistent in saying, hey, people are thinking twice before they buy things. And the other dynamic they spoke about is that people are really waiting for the sale. They're expecting the bargain. They're waiting for the bargain. And they're not going to buy that full price item like they did a year ago. So that's a very different dynamic going into the holidays. And it is going to weigh on all retailers' profits.